Free boxing here with the undefeated junior middleweight. Well, Cooley, no, no more prospect contender, right? World yes, title sir, yes, contender, Zan Desayas. I don't know if you remember this, but I uh, I interviewed you before your first fight in Reno back in 2019. Wow, that's that's a good memory you got. It was a Corey Stevenson card. Yes, it is. But also, I got you know I've been doing a lot of interviews, but um, that's awesome that we got to to get an interview for my first fight. It was you and Jared Anderson, I think. Yes, yeah. Yes, making our pro debut. Yeah. Well, let's talk about that. Uh, what is it? 18 and 0 now. 18 and 0. 18 and 0. 18 and 0. It's only been a few years. I mean, talk about your progression. Obviously, you've gotten bigger. You filled that lot. <laughs> thank you. Thank Can you still make 154? Oh uh, man, I feel comfortable with 154 right now. Obviously, when the time is right and when we know we can't make it anymore, we won't. We won't struggle. I got a great, great um team behind me, perfecting athletes. They work with, with great fighters like Terence Crawford. I know they will. They will let me know and we'll make that journey to move up to 160. I'm from Texas, I came from Texas. There's rumors floating around, I don't know if you've heard these or if, if they just made them up, but there's another Texan who's in your weight class, undefeated, Virgil yes. Ortiz. Yes. I've heard your name linked to him. Have you heard those rumors? Is there any truth to it? No, for sure. And, and I ru those rumors are maybe true in the future. It's a fight that we can probably make happen in the future. Um, he just moved up to 154. I'm at 154. Um, if I can stay here for, for, for a longer time, maybe get a title, maybe we can make a fight happen. Um, obviously, It'll be a beautiful chapter in the Puerto be, Rico, Mexico. Yes, Valley. definitely. It'll be an amazing chapter here in the East Coast, maybe New York, Texas, Florida, one of those states here in the East Coast to draw a big crowd and, and a big classic in Puerto Rico and Mexico. I feel like it's a fight that can make happen in the, it can make sense in, in the future. What are you, 21, 22? 21, yes you're sir. You're still 21. just a baby, 21. Yeah, man. <laughs> I can't believe you're still this 21. So you're already becoming a star. They loved you at the garden. They were chanting your you, name. Thank you. What's it like to be that kind of a star here in, in the New York Man. at this 21? It means the world to me. It means the world to me because it's something I dreamed of my whole life. You know, it's something as a kid, as a kid, you watch all these fights in the, in the mecca of boxing, and now being able to to fight here and to have the crowd cheering my name is just, it's just a dream come true. So, uh, well, let me ask you about the other young prospects on the card today. You had uh, Sushu Carrington. Oh, man. What do you think of his performance? Superstar. He's a superstar. He showed it tonight. He will continue to show it. And he will continue to show why he's one of the best prospects and fighters at 126 pounds. And then on, on the other card, you had Keyshawn Davis with a uh, spectacular performance. Yes, yes. Uh, and then... Uh, Abdullah Mason as well. Mason. The top ranked is really, really deep they right nice. now. They both nice. Tiger Johnson also Tiger fought Johnson tonight. Tiger Johnson as well, really fresh right now. They all nice. They all nice. They they show that the the, the, the the young talent is coming up. They show that top rank has a great stable of su of future superstars, and we'll just continue to you know follow our path, follow our careers, continue winning, and the sky's the limit. I want to ask you about your division, back to your division. 154, for so long it was, it was one guy held all the titles and he wasn't really active and he kind of held all the belt. Now he's leaving the division. Yes. What does that mean for you and, and when do you think you'll be fighting for one of those titles? Man, uh, a lot of opportunities. Right now I'm number three in the WBO. There's only two guys in front of me, Erickson Lubin and, and Josh Kelly. And those are two fights that I think yeah. we can make happen this year for an um, elimin elimination bout. So we can we can get the, the champion, um, Tim Zhu, or maybe um, Keith Thurman, whoever wins that fight. Um, but I feel like definitely we are well, Who do you like in that fight, Thurman or Zhu? I think I like, I like Tim Zhu. Tim Zhu should win. He's a champion, he's in his prime. Um, Kid Thorman is already tw a 20 month layoff. Um, but he always coming, does that though. He always takes yeah, 20 month layoff. But coming to a new division, it's a whole different ballgame. Xander Zayas, I, I, like I said, I, I was there for your pro debut and now you're here. What have you changed? What have you improved in the most over those four years? Everything, everything. My, my man strength has gotten better. Um, my, That's what we were talking about at the fight. Yes, yeah. my, my patience. Um, the way that I'm able to see punches, the way that I'm able to break out, um, break guys down, the, the way that I'm able to, to listen to the corner, I feel those are things that you only get with time. You, you like, and you're still just 21. It's still hard to believe that you're just 21. <laughs> thank you. I thank mean, you still have, you could still fill out more and grow yes, more. It's just, yes. You, you look, you said you're making 154 comfortably. Do you ever look at, okay, like I'm a big kid, 60, 68, do you say like how? 60, 68, 75, maybe 200, who knows? I'm ready. I'm ready to take it all. Um, I'm ready to take over everything. Um, obviously, started at 154. Don't want to look past that. I gotta become a world champion at 154, and maybe then move up to 160. 154 is a fun division. It's always a talent-loaded division. Yes. Is there anyone in the division you, you want to fight next? Is there anyone you, you're looking at? 
Well, right now, the next opponent in, our, in, our, in my career is Pate Teixeira, my first former world champion. Is that official? It is, it is official, when my is first that? former world champion. Hopefully, June. Okay. Um, that's my first former world Puerto champion. Puerto Rican Day Parade? Yes, hopefully. Back um, in the garden? Yes, sir. And, and then after that, we're looking forward to face one of the top two guys in the, in the WBOs, which I said was Erickson Lubin and, and Josh Kelly. I think that's a fight that we can make happen. And it's a fight that I'm, that I'm really, really confident that, that, that I know I'm going to win. Um, and again, hopefully we, we can come into into negotiations and, and be all agreed. Yeah, Tashara's a former world champ, I believe. Yes, a former yes. world champ, really crafty guy, good veteran. Really crafty guy. How do you go into body. that fight? I mean, you're fighting there a, a world beater. He beat Carlos Adamas, like a really, no, really good fighter. No, How you, do you just, that fight? You just gotta stay focused. I gotta stay focused. I gotta listen to the game plan. Obviously, when we start camp, we start breaking the game plan down. We'll bring guys in to, to sparring. Um, we already got good names for, for sparring sessions. Um, so it's just part of, again, following the game plan, staying focused, and overall just staying hungry, keeping the love for boxing. Zandu Zayas, appreciate your time. Thank Undefeated 18 0, 12 yes, knockouts, 13, 12, 12, 12 knockouts. knockouts. 18 0. I don't even know my own record. We'll <laughs> be back June at the Garden against yes, Polo World Champ Patrick. Yes, sir. God Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. you, brother.